good everyone my name is graphics today we want to solve another problem involving tangency now if you look at the top right corner of the screen you're going to see a figure like this which we are told to what to reproduce now the first thing first of all do when you see a figure like this try and draw a vertical line first thing you notice that this figure is symmetrical that means if you divide it into two what is on the left hand side is the same as what's on the right hand side, right? So, first thing I'll do is to draw my vertical line. So, I will take my T square, right? And I will move it. So, I'm going to draw my vertical line this way. You can see that? Now, the next thing I'm going to do is that I will move that same T square up right I'll move it up and I'm going to draw an horizontal line this way this way with faint line and that is where we are so this is the point where they meet this center point is this center point here now if you look at this very well we are told the radius of this bigger circle right is 48 so let's see so you can see that that the radius of this is what 48 so i'm going to take my compass and i'm going to take my meter rule and i'm going to start from zero right this is zero on this point and i'll move it to 40 this 40 this is 45 and this is 48 right you might be wondering let me show you very well 48 so let's look that very well so this will be from 0 to 48 so this is 48 just 2 before 5 right so i'll use that and I'm going to place it at the center, this center here. I'll place it there and I'll draw a circle. Right? I'm going to draw what? A circle. So the circle I'm going to draw will be faint line. You can see that? That's the first thing I'm going to do. Now this center here, like I said earlier, is this center here right so from this center to this line here is 33 right so i'm going to measure 33 from that center starting from zero starting from where from zero how good starting from where zero then i'll go 10 20 30 then 30 31 32, 33, this 33 here. That is where we are. Right? So I should use my my T square and draw another horizontal line this way. Just faint line. You can see that? Now, the next thing I'm going to do is that this point here this point here is this point right this point here this line here is this line here and another line again which if you measure from this line this point to the next point here that is what 60 so it means i'm going to measure 60 again so let's measure the 60 again and see so from one from zero i'm going to count 60 upward this is zero 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So I'll stop at my 60 here. Is that okay? So that is my point 60. I can move it further if I want to. That is what? My point 60. So on that point 60, I'm going to draw another horizontal line again. So I'll move my T square to that point where I can draw another horizontal line right so i will just take this my rule and draw a faint line horizontal line you can see that now 
I thought that I was on the line. I've gotten the three points. I've gotten what? The three points I need. Right? Now, the thickness between this from here to here, AB, is 24. So, and you, since this is the center, I'll measure 12 to the left and 12 to the right, making the entire distance to the world 24. So, let's do that. So, I'll take my meter rule. I'm going to measure from 0. This is 1, 10, then 11, 12. So this is 12 we have in here. You can see that. So I'll place it at this point here. I'm going to put it like this at that point. And I'll mark 12 to the left and 12 to the right. Is that the key? So with the help of my set square, right, I'm going to draw a vertical line. With the help of my set square, I will draw a vertical line, just draw that for the so I'll draw a vertical line right, so from here I'm going to draw a line this way faint line right, I'll go to the next one I'll draw another faint line this way this way right, so this is what we have now if you look from here to here, which is 24, right? The distance from here downward is what? 21. That means distance from here, let me say this is my A and this is what? My B. That's like what I have here, A and B. So from B downward and A downward is what? 21. So I'm going to measure 21 downward. So with the help of this, I can just say from 0, this is 20, this is 21, right? So with the help of my T-square, I will move it to that point because the T-square is just for drawing horizontal line, right? So I am going to draw that point. So just faint line also this way. You can see that? Faint line this way. So let's take it back. Now, from our diagram, from here, this point and this point is this point and this point, right? Now we're not told that there is, they call it, there is an arc here and there's an arc here, right? So if you, they call it a fillet, right? If you, you measure a radius of 6, because we're giving a radius of 6 here, so you extend it to 6 and you extend here to what? 6. So let's do that and see. So with the help of my meter rule, I can use my compass to ensure uniform, to make the measurement uniform. So I'll measure 6 here. Right, this is 6. Is that the key? And I'll place it at this point. So I'll measure 6 away from here. From here, I'll measure 6. And from here, I'll measure 6. Is that the key? So this is 6 away from A and 6 away from B. Just like what we have here. Since they are symmetrical, since here is just 6, here is also what? Just 6. So I measure 6 away and 6 away. So what you do is, with the same radius of 6, right? You place it at that same point, you mark down to. You place it at that same point, you mark down to. So you mark along horizontal and along vertical. Let me zoom this all so you see what we are trying to talk about. Right? And let's move it to that point. So you mark along 6 and so on. You can see that? So I mark along horizontal 6, along vertical 6, horizontal 6, vertical 6. So you want to create a kind of a fillet there. So what you do is, you will take your compass, right? And at this point where it meets here, you draw another vertical line. Just see what I want to do. Mm -hmm. With the help of your compass, you draw another vertical line. Right? So I'm moving it. I'll draw my vertical line. And I'll draw another vertical line here. Right? So we've done that. So what you do is, is this. You take your 
compass right you place it at this point the six that you measured right you've already measured six here and six here so horizontal six vertical six right i'm going to come at the six also here i'll measure down here too and here all right I'll measure six there right so with the same measurement i'll place it at this point i extended right i'll place it at this point i extended here i will mark the same measurement six i will strike an arc here i'll place it here also i'll also strike an arc here i will together or better still so in doing that i will now take my compass and i'll place it here and i'll draw my arc from here so it will be something like this so you can thicken it can you see that even without even bisecting now i measure six 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 oh you cannot place at this point i measure six before and i'll place it here and i'll get the other one here this way right so in doing that i have that right so it have those two now we have successfully done that now for my main diagram you discover that the you taking from this point down to that 60 right and i said from here to here is what 60 let me zoom it down so you see what i'm talking about i'll connect it so with the help of my t square and my set square right i'm going to move this and connect it to that point 60 so this is my point 60 here right I'm going to join it to touch here and I'll move this also to touch here that is distance 60 from this point right now I also if you look at our diagram again discover that all these four corners here are thickened so it means that I'm going to thicken just like this like this so closing it up and also here now after doing that if you look at our diagram again you are going to discover that the radius of this arc here is 48 and the 48 falls within along this line of 33 right so i'll take my meter rule and i'm going to measure 48 so measure 48 right i'll place it on this point which is this point and I'm going to mark 48 you can see that I'll do the same thing at the other op the op opposite side also I'll mark 48 you can see that now with the same radius without cutting it off I'll place it at that point and I'm going to strike an arc like this I can draw an arc this way right and I'll come here also I will gauge it to that point and I'll do the same thing this way. Right? So what do you notice? If I do that, what do you notice? It is touching the circumference of the bigger circle. So after that, we are going to draw an arc here with radius that is given. The radius is given to be 18. Right? So I'll place my compass at this point 
here and I'll mark 18, 18. Do for both sides. Now, you will now measure the 18. Because if you look at your diagram here, the radius of this small arc, like I said earlier, is 18, right? So you measure that, you measure the 18. Measure the 18. From 0 to this is 18. Right? And you place it at this point here. You strike an arc up, down, with the same radius, you place it here. You strike an arc here. And you come here also, you strike the same arc, right? You come at this other point too, you strike an you cut here and here, you place it here, you strike an arc, you place it here, you strike another arc. So where they meet, you're going to place it here to connect these two points, the other points, and you place it here also to connect these two points. That is, this is, how I'm this is what I'm talking about. I'll place it at this point here, right? And I'm going to strike my arc. That is the first one. I'll come here also. I'll do the same thing. You're going to gauge it until you get to that point, right? So I'll have this to this point. Now, after doing that, I will now come at this center point, the main center point that I started earlier, for the bigger circle. So I'm going to place it here, and then we'll get this. You can see that? Now the next one will now be this, I'll make this one thickened in this point, in this point here, right, and I'll come here also, I'll do the same thing, the 48, in this point, right, so we have successfully reproduced the diagram you are seeing at the top right corner of your screen. So the next thing you have to do, which will earn you more of your mark, is by putting in your dimension. So that's what I'll do now. This is what we are going to be having. So if you find this video helpful, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and click on the like button also. Thanks for watching.